It's good morning there, just beyond the ring. And in sadness here, it is gladness there. Wow, that is some brand spanking new music right there. Just be on the ridge. New music from the new album from Mr. Sean Naawao, who graces us on the Kappa Cafe this morning. Let's get him on the phone. Aloha, kakahi, aloha. <laughs> is that your man voice? <laughs> yeah, that is. <laughs> How are you, Owen? What's up? Hi. Good morning. Hi, Sean Naawao <laughs> graces the telephone. <laughs> The airwaves on Kapa Hawaiian FM. Good morning, my Good friend. Good morning, brother. Good morning. <laughs> you know, it kind of exciting the new release. What's going on? Um, yeah, you know, I'm really excited about this one um, <clears throat> because the last couple of CDs I released was all on the traditional Hawaiian end. Uh, this new Nakiki O Hawaii CD is more on the contemporary Hawaiian end. So there's a lot, a lot of Hawaiian, but yet there's a lot of contemporary music. So it's almost like kind of bringing me back to my old Fish and Poi album, mm. but yet the 2018 version of it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you real quick, man. So I uh, was it yesterday, I think you and I chatted, but yesterday I got to sit down and listen to the entire album. And he oh. doesn't. He goes, so check this out, Sean. He doesn't even sit to listen. I don't usually to the whole sit, album, right? To oh. <laughs> you know how many. <laughs> Uh, you know, so you know, I texted you yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, bro, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ju- okay, I'm just gonna put this out in the airways, bro. This is not only is this your best work. This is probably one of the best CDs ever made. 
Serious wow. Blue. I was listening. Oh. I was like, wow. So, so, what, so now so, I got to listen to the whole so, scene yeah. now. So I was like, <laughs> okay, right. let me, oh, let, let's hear what he did with Just Beyond the Ridge. As soon as it starts, bro, I'm like, holy smoke, <laughs> bro. Well, you know, that's, that's a song that was written by my grandma, and that was a title cut of the Manao Company's first yeah, yeah, CD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, I wanted to bring it back, um, and I also included my son, so Kupu is actually singing the second verse in Hawaiian yeah, on that nice, song. Nice. Yeah. Well, long, no, oh, go ahead. No, you go. <laughs> I wanted to know how long has it been since the last release? Uh, about three and a half years now. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I knew it wasn't too long, but it's been a it's been a few years. Yeah. 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 yeah about three and a half years. So so check this out. So uh, as I'm listening to the CD. You know, you've always been an innovator, uh, innovator in Hawaiian music, always setting the tone for a lot of things. And since it's been like three years since you recorded, there has been a lot of new artists coming out. And um, you could tell how a lot of the Hawaiian music, uh, uh, some of it is going in an R&B kind style. Some of it is going to the big band era like Kahula Nui mm-hmm. and whatnot. You have kind of captured all of that in a nutshell uh, <laughs> in, on the CD, but... With a Sean Na'awau but with, with it, But it's Sean Na'awau. It's not yeah. like, you know, the veteran trying to keep up with the young guys. It's like, oh, okay, you guys want to do this? Well, I'm going over here. <laughs> <laughs> and that's kind of how I felt. I was like, wow, man, this thing is just amazing. So, you know... Um Back in the day, you know, coming from the contemporary side of the music industry when I released, you know, Fish and Toy, Mm. and, you know, that was the era, you know, even before that with Manao Company, you know, that was the era of Jawaiian, and Mm -hmm. there was about five or six bands that created that so-called Jawaiian sound back in the 80s and 90s. Um, You know, for today, uh, the music that I I tried to create on this new one, um, I, I wanted to pay tribute to the younger generation ah. that are that are doing all these R and B songs, mm-hmm. you know, and they're doing it beautifully. Mm-hmm. You know, the the first person I can think of is Josh, Josh mm-hmm. Totoki. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, Josh is doing an amazing job and you know, he has his R and B feel on it, but it's still Hawaiian yeah, and it's yeah. so beautiful and the melody. The melody mm-hmm. is it's like four days. So mm-hmm. You know, just kind of complimenting, you know, the younger generation. But like you said, you know, kind of still keeping on top of things in today. It's not one old guy. It's like you can dance. Yeah, right. That's it, bro. <laughs> that's exactly. so exciting, though. That's what's exciting because I think that, you know, when we take it back to even, um, I, just, I would say, the revive or the renaissance, I think uh-huh. that we kind of go into this these phases of re, not renewing but re-energizing Hawaiian music. And, yes, yes. And, and there are some that are so talented in just, you know, their sound, and they, it's awesome because it remains the sound. There's right. certain new and, bands, and that's their sound. Right, right. But when you can um, adapt and move, that, that, and move with the time and music and move it forward. Well, cr- you know, it's, it's um, you know, again, I wanted to, to pay tribute to what's happening now and not make it like the old style reggae Mm -hmm. um on this new album i have two cuts one the title cut is makiki ohawaii and i have my good friend and your good friend who is called (laughs) she is she is just going crazy on this song but i love it you know that's the whole thing that i wanted to incorporate is 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 try and get the younger generation into the hawaiian culture you know and and maybe it might they might not you know their ears because they're younger maybe they don't want to hear the steel guitar the the real yeah, but yeah. yet if you can you can capture what they're listening to now which is reggae music but still inputting hawaiian values you know mm-hmm. hawaiian culture in it mm-hmm. so that's what i try to do with this album and that bug is pretty rootsy too bro i gotta say <laughs> oh, I, oh yeah <laughs> i love it man. that's you not know, that's yeah, not joy like, bro that's like steel you know, pulse in the back you know <laughs> what i mean you know i miss playing <laughs> reggae music so you know whenever danny and the boys call me say bro you can do a monao company show i said sure. <laughs> You anything know, to and, bring the electric guitar out. Huh? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anything with that distortion, I mean. <laughs> now, I got to ask you, bro. Um, I, I had texted you yesterday. I said, this CD is my new mixing reference CD. Right, right. Now, what, uh, have you, did, did you do any diff, anything different as far as where you're recording, uh, who's engineering? It, it just, it's not normal Sean Na'awau. This is a whole nother level. Uh, what, well, um, when 
when I recorded back in a day with the Fish and Toy albums, I recorded at Studio One, and this is uh, Wendell Ching's play. Raja, Raja. So, you know, the, the, the latest CDs that I came out was Hawaiian, so I figured that if I'm going to go back and do, you know, the contemporary music, what we did back in a day, I have to go back. So what I did is I recorded this whole CD uh, at Studio One, uh, with Wendell Ching, I nice. did a lot of the mixes, and we kind of, we kind of, I wanted to mix this CD more of like, you know, when you hear a Sade song, yeah, or, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like, you know, so if you hear Lehua's voice on Behold La Ie, oh my God, you know, she did such a beautiful job on the song, yeah, and yeah. you know, we tried to capture that Sade Basha kind of feel. <laughs> so, yeah, well, you did, so, right? you know, you did. maybe that might be the change of what you hear. I'm yeah, not sure, yeah. but <laughs> and that's even not normal Wendell either. Yeah, no, because I'm like Wendell. Come on, Wendell. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, man. Well, very excited, man. What is what is on the horizon for uh, support for this album? Are you planning some tours? Or are we going to see you on Hawaii Island promoting this album? Um, I would love to come to the Hawaii Island. But, yeah, we have my CD release party. Uh, every Monday night I play at the Kanikapila Grill at the uh, Brigger Reef Hotel. Ah, so on 11-26, that's actually, I'm releasing uh, the CD on Black Friday, 11-23. Oh, nice, nice. And on 11-26, I'll have a big, big CD release party at the Kanikapila Grill. Lehua uh, Kalima, Kaumaka you know, diva. everybody will be diva. <laughs> Kamaka Diva. That, I was going to say that. Kamaka Diva and, you know, everybody that was involved in the CD and all of my friends. I'm even trying to get Mark Yamanaka to come down because nice. he also released the new CD as well. Roger, Roger. So I'm even going to try and call Anna and say, hey, Anna, I, think I heard you're coming out with a Christmas CD, but please come to my CD. But I never see you a long time. All right. All yeah, right. yeah. So, um, and uh, I have a, a big tour coming up in Japan in February. Uh, so, you know, we're looking forward to that. Uh, in March, um, I'm doing a West Coast tour. So, yeah, there's a lot of people that are, are calling now. Like, oh, we miss your reggae music. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. Hey, real so quick, bro. Another thing we wanted to commend you on, because, you know, as, as uh, all of us uh, Hawaiians, especially us musicians, as we get older, we tend to get slower. We tend to not hey, take hey, care hey. of ourselves. <laughs> uh, no, I want to commend you, bro, on, on, on staying with... You know how you've been for the past years by eating healthy and looking good, oh, and you, well, you know, you know what I mean? I, yeah, you know, I try. I mean, it's it's you know, as a musician, you know, jazz, right, you know, yeah. I mean, yeah. going to the parties, and you know, one good thing for me, which is junk, is that I'm actually allergic to a lot of the Hawaiian food, uh, uh, uh. yeah, so I don't eat. Opihi, I don't eat pig, you know, wow. and because you know, it's it's more of allergic, but it's the gout, yeah, 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 true so, that, yeah. You know, and there's a lot of people that I know have gout, so that's why I, I try to cut down. So I haven't eaten eaten pork for almost 15 years. Wow. But to make a long story short, but yeah, you know, I try. I try, Chas. <laughs> it's. I agree. It's hard. It sucks. <laughs> Well, you know, there's, there's a couple of days that I take a drive to uh, <laughs> rain to drive in. And then, oh, All right. Okay. right. <laughs> All right, on my friend. Go ahead. So, well, well, Sean, congratulations once again, man. Uh, we're, uh, what the, so the release date, again, is on Black Friday. Yes, 11-23. Okay, and um, is that for everything, digital download, everything uh, is on that release date, or can yes, people get yes. digital? Yes, everything will be iTunes, you know, all the digital downloads. Um, uh, Madden, uh, Island Heritage will be doing the distribu uh, distribution, so... All right. Well, we've been yeah. playing um, Avapuhi Beauty and a couple oh, of other tracks, thank you. but thank today you. is the day as we exit and say aloha to Sean. We're going to roots it out a little bit. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here we go. Here's Sean with the diva. Yeah. <laughs>
you can't find your values. Some 